it'll behoove us to study the tabernacle because God spent a lot of chapters in Exodus uh, describing the parts of the, the, the tabernacle. Every furniture, every material, every vessel, every color, every metal in the tabernacle, every part of it cries out, glory. And something wonderful happens when you come to church and you see the glory of the Lord. Amen. You are being transformed by beholding the glory. We see the uh, tabernacle proper. Now, let's go inside. Open up the top and let's look inside the holy place, shall we? All around you, you see the golden boards. Each of these golden boards is you and I. We are hidden in Christ so that God does not see us in our wooden infirmities, frailties, failures, and sins. God sees us in the golden righteousness of Jesus' divine beauty. Let me show you a picture of the candlestick or the lampstand. The three branches on the right and on the left Okay, when you light them, their light must face the center shaft, which is a picture of our Lord Jesus Christ. God wants you to know is this. Everything you do is to bring glory to the center shaft, the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, your marriage is to bring glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not just to satisfy each other's needs because that becomes a very small world and you'll be frustrated with each other because there's no way, even how much love you have, without a higher purpose, that marriage becomes natural. If you're not building your career on Christ, focus on the glory of Christ, I'm telling you, it becomes uh, uh, empty. You wake up with, a, with a, a feeling of futility in everything, frustrated. Don't spend your best years pursuing small ambitions, people. You were created for greater things. The solid slab of gold, the lid that covered the entire Ark of the Covenant, that's the main focus of God's Word. In fact, everything about the tabernacle focused on the mercy seat. And let's look at the blood on the mercy seat now. Their blood is sprinkled. So for every violation of the law, the blood covers it. So you come to God, come boldly. When you pray, pray boldly. All right? When you see God, see a God who is no longer mindful of your sins. He cannot be anymore. If He's righteous, all right, He must be righteous to what Jesus did. And He did it, He designed this whole thing so that He can show forth His righteousness and be your righteousness. When you order your life in such a way that you are in perfect alignment with God, it's like a river going the same direction. Everything flows in your life. Amen.